My mother told me I should trust my intuition and my intuition tells me something to stay right You've been deflecting all the simplest of questions and that ain't gonna fly My father told me I should keep my reputation in mind and baby girl my reputation's on the line I've been defending you from rumors that are spreading so don't hang me up to dry Welcome back to another video. I'm going back to campus in exactly a week from today. So I thought I would film a last minute glow up video. I'm going to be dyeing my hair, working out, eating healthy food, reading books, etc. So the first step to today's video is testing for COVID. All of the students have to test for COVID before returning to campus. So I'm gonna do that right now. These are the instructions. This is the FedEx return pack. This is a specimen confirmation form. Here is the saline collection tube. This is the swab. Let's do this. Wash and dry hands before opening the kit. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I washed my hands. Take the swab out of its package. Do not touch the tip of the swab with your hands. Okay. Screw off the top of the collection tube. Hold the swab in one hand and collection tube in the other, being careful not to spill the liquid. Do not drink the liquid. <laughs> Insert the tip of the swab into one nostril. The swab does not need to be inserted far. Insert just until the tip of the swab is no longer visible. I have a runny nose. It's like wet. Using the same end, repeat step six. I don't like the feeling of something wet going inside my nose. Remove the swab from your second nostril and place in the collection tube. The end of the swab that went into your nose should be placed into the tube first so that it sits down in the liquid. Screw the top of the collection tube back on. Wash and dry hands thoroughly again. Again? Okay, I'll be back. Insert the collection tube into the biohazard specimen bag. Okay, fill out the specimen confirmation form. Place the specimen bag and specimen confirmation form into the white shipping box. That's it. That was really fun. I'm gonna have to go drop this off at FedEx. to be dyeing my hair back to dark brown my hair right now is like a light greenish orangish i actually kind of like this e-girl hair leave this in for about 35 minutes and then wash it out this is what my hair looks like i like how it's a lighter brown where it used to be green i made a list of exercises that i like doing so today i'm just gonna go off of my notes instead of following someone else's workout routine
going to be using the Foreo UFO 2 device along with a UFO mask. This is the Make My Day Hyaluronic Acid and Red Algae Mask. Those two ingredients are very important for moisturizing your skin. So using the Foreo app, I'm going to scan this mask. Just take this out and plop it on here and then this is the ring that's used to secure the mask. As the warmth gradually decreases, the anti-pollution formula is locked into skin. The green LED helps reveal a brighter, more even skin tone for an all-day glow. I usually go in with a second round with the remaining essence. You can actually use this device for any face mask you have at home. All you have to do is cut the face mask into a circular shape to fit this device. This device is supposed to help your skin absorb the ingredients from the mask. I've been using the UFO for about six months now. I've been using it since January of this year. I really like how simple and quick it is to use. It only takes a couple of minutes out of your day and it's super good at hydrating your skin. So if you wanna check it out, I will leave a link in the description box below. before and my teeth actually got a lot whiter. It's still a bit yellow but it used to be super bad. You're supposed to use half of the syringe at a time so I'm gonna use half of it and I'm gonna give it to my sister so that she can use the other half. You say nothing's gotta change but I don't know how to fool you into thinking I could feel the same. Right now I'm going to try to get rid of my blackheads. I never thought that my blackheads were bad, but my sister keeps telling me to take them out. Apparently you can remove your blackheads using Vaseline. A lot of YouTubers have been trying it recently, so 
my sister told me to try it out. So what you're gonna need for this is some Vaseline, a bunch of Q-tips, saran wrap, and a steamed towel. You're gonna need some cleansing oil as well. I'm gonna take some Vaseline and put it all over my nose. Now I'm gonna take this saran wrap and put it over my nose like this. I'm gonna take the steam towel and put it over my nose. I'm supposed to keep this on for five minutes. Right, my nose is a little bit red right now because of the Q-tips. I'm gonna go into the next step, some cleansing oil. see much of a difference to be honest. I'm positive it hasn't done this. Done this? Hmm. I don't think it's going to happen. Really? It's already done. Well, it's already done, A lot of people say it worked, but. Yeah, if you want to try it for yourself, go ahead and let me know if it works for you. I think it's just a case-by-case -case kind of thing. It works for some people. I think for me, particularly because my pores are so huge, even if it did take out the gunk, the size of my pores makes it look like there are blackheads. the intellectual glow up part of this video i'm going to be looking through my coursework ahead of time so this is the first reading that we have to do have smartphones destroyed a generation by jean twenge i'm also going to look through the syllabus and see what i can expect from the course also my sister told me to read this book this is a korean book called gulim Attraction. It's by the author Yi Pyong Dul. It has a lot of photography in it. The types of books my sister likes are very different from what I like. She likes very inspirational books. I like thrillers, mystery, horror, murder, those types of books. I usually don't have much time throughout the semester for leisure reading because there's already so much coursework and required reading I need to do for my classes. So I'm a little bit worried about those unread books over there. Easy to be misunderstood. No one knows I'm acting every time they're asking. Make them believe that it's so good. Faking smiles and laughing, playing like I'm happy all the time. The girl who can do everything Never bothered by anything Crying till I can't cry no more What the hell am I crying for? Keep saying I'm okay, I'm okay Telling them I'm okay, I'm okay It's so hot outside here With my friends, everybody's smoking. Honestly, I'm lonely. My mind is somewhere else again. Scrolling through my Insta, don't wanna get into this right now. The girl who's down for anything, go out to forget everything. Okay, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe so that we can hit 1 million soon. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. What the hell am I crying for?
keep saying I'm okay, I'm okay. Telling them I'm okay, I'm okay. Even though mascara's running down, down my face. Really, I'm okay, I'm okay.